since 1945, a lot of Cubs fans, even some here in Milwaukee, feared the team was cursed, all because of a goat. Pete Zervakis explains the legend and talked with one guy who's pretty happy to see that curse shattered. The legend goes it was 1945, game four of the World Series, when ushers at Wrigley Field told Cubs fan Bill Cianis his pet goat could not enter the ballpark even though he'd bought him a separate ticket. The superstitious believe that in anger, Cianis put a curse on the team. Cianis, the goat's owner, is this man's distant relative. I usually tell people he's my uncle, but like he's kind of like a second cousin. His name's Chris Bros. He lives in Chicago and happens to be my old college roommate. So, how often did the supposed curse cross his mind during the World Series? Oh, all the time. All the time. He was worried he'd catch flack for a Cubs loss. My friends that are Cubs fans will, will give me a hard time. My friends that are White Sox fans are like, good, good for you. Cubs fans leaving Milwaukee for today's parade were split on whether the curse was ever real. Did you ever believe in that? No, no, <laughs> not at all. I think to an extent it was a little bit true. Some worried the curse had returned when a Cleveland home run in the bottom of the eighth tied up game seven of the World Series. Yes. <laughs> I got so scared. I was like, who brought the goat? Who brought the goat that didn't get let in? <laughs> but it's done now. It's done. It's fine. And we're here. Yeah. And no one was happier to see the curse smashed out of the park than Chris. And the curse is broken, so it's, there's no reason to talk about it anymore. Bros did not make it to today's parade, but he did take in a World Series game at Wrigley Field. For the Now Milwaukee, I'm Pete Zervakis. One of the lucky few who got to see the World Series at Wrigley. A lot of Cubs fans.